In an interview with The Wall Street Journal, right-wing conspiracy theorist Jerome Corsi says he told a federal grand jury that he helped create a cover story for longtime Trump advisor Roger Stone. Special counsel gave me immunity on this testimony. He says the cover story aimed to explain a tweet written by Stone on August 21st, 2016, saying, Trust me, it will soon the Podesta's time in the barrel. Weeks later, WikiLeaks would release thousands of emails hacked from Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta's account, bringing scrutiny to Stone's tweet. Stone has said that his tweet was not related to Podesta's emails, but instead was inspired by this. In mid-August, Jerry Corsi pointed out to me various public locations on the internet where you could find documentation of the Podesta brothers' cozy business relations with the Russians tight with Vladimir Putin. And I tweeted it. But Corsi says Stone didn't ask him to do the research until August 30th. I really started the research on the morning of August 31st, my birthday, at the request of Roger. What I construct and testify to to the grand jury was I believed I was creating a cover story for Roger because Roger wanted to explain this tweet about the Podesta is going to be in the barrel. You're saying nine days later, He's asking, he wanted you to he wanted come up to, with a cover story. Yes. Is that true? At the best of my recollection, yes. Podesta's emails hadn't even been leaked. So I don't, I don't you, if you it? want to know what Roger's thinking, you're going to have to ask Roger. That's a lot of work to do. Did Roger pay you for that work? No, I never got paid by Roger to do this work. Stone, for his part, says Corsi is lying because he's being squeezed by special counsel Robert Mueller's prosecutors. Corsi's claim of a cover story, he says, is devoid of logic because his tweet about the Podestas didn't receive attention until October, after John Podesta's emails were leaked. The special counsel's office declined to comment. On Monday, Corsi said he had refused a plea deal offered by Mueller's team. Well, I don't know what they're going to do, but I rejected their plea agreement, and they're not happy about it, so they'll probably indict me now. That's up to them. 